Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you're real comfortable. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. This is going to be another After Hours Love for reading. It's after dark. Do you know where your hoes are? <laughs> right off the bat, collective. I feel like somebody, you know, some of you guys got somebody tripping over you. I'm feeling both heavy masculine energy tripping over you and heavy, sorry, I had the timer on for the little one minute videos. I may forget to get stuck there. But like I was saying, a uh, heavy energy, both masculine and feminine flipping over you, tripping over you. There's somebody who definitely has strong feelings towards you and they're trying to figure out what you like. They wanna know what you like, they want to, they're nervous. They don't want to make the wrong impression on you. This person wants to impress you and they really want to make sure that you appreciate what they offer. Like they really want you to like it. This person is trying to figure out what type of music you like. If they want to play you music, this person might want to bring you flowers. This person wants a romantic night with you. They want to do something to show you that it's like, they see you differently than other people. And then some of you guys got a feminine watching you. For some of you guys, I'm not gonna lie, this energy, I'm turning this around so this smoke don't um, hit me. I don't know what's going on with this. But I'm not gonna lie, some of you guys, this, um, this feminine could be like an other woman, maybe at this person's ex. Some of you guys, this feminine is a woman who might have either attraction to you as a masculine or they have a same gendered attraction to you as like a female, but their energy feels back and forth. They don't know if they're jealous of you or they don't know if they want to eat you. It's like, you know, like straight up. It's like they're they're in awe about you. Some of you guys, it's like a collective group of women that are watching you, talking about you, chattering about you, wondering why you have these men coming towards you. Some of these people are saying that you're a witch, you're casting love spells on men, and this is why men get so allured towards you. A lot of it, it, or, you know, the opposite, like some of you guys, like you could be a masculine, they could be saying that, you know, women like you because of your money, because of your looks, because they don't know why women like you. Some of, women, some of you guys just are very niche. I'm seeing that some masculines here are very niche, like you guys like are, you look like star seeds. Some of you guys wear tie dyes. Some of you guys have long hair. Some of you guys play the guitar and you're lone wolf men. And a lot of women do find that lone wolf misunderstood. Like some of you guys look like uh, um, that vampire guy that, uh, what is it, Edward Twilight? Not all of you guys are niche. Some of you guys have a dark aesthetic to you. And a, a, women love an aesthetic. I can't speak for all women. You know, some women do just like normal guys. But I feel like guys who are niche, uh, they have a tendency to attract a lot of women. And then a lot of other men get pissed off at that. They're like, yo, why is this guy? Oh, because he plays the banjo. Some of you guys play like a guitar, a banjo, the drums. Some of you guys like are into kickboxing, boxing. It's something about your niche and your hobbies too that could be attracting a lot of swarm of feminine. Because so some of you guys don't just have one person tripping over you. You got multiple people tripping over you. 
wanting to throw themselves at you. Some of you guys might have some sort of popularity, maybe social clout. You have something that, you know, it's, I don't know, it's something that can't even be emulated because, you know, I, that's kind of contradiction, lone wolf and social clout. Because some people be like, oh, women value, you know, social this and that. You know, some women, a lot of women value that, like loner, lone wolf, misunderstood. A lot of you feminine energies, too. You're very, you're very feminine. And maybe it's like, you're, and it's not just about aesthetics. It's your personality, too. Like a lot of men are trying to figure out why they're so drawn to you too. It's like, what is it about, you know, it's, and then that's what it is. Some of it is your mystery. I don't know. Hmm. Some of it is your mystery, your humor. This person likes the way you dress and not just that, the way you make them feel. Maybe you allow this person to feel like, I don't know, you make them feel uplifted and important like this is why this person wants you to appreciate what they're about to bring to you i'm feeling a strong sense of romance and um these haters aren't going to be able to stop it i'm gonna start with the what's the tea tarot divine divine please guide me what's going on in a collective energy oh it says move in silence it don't get much clearer than that this new love though you will probably want to post about it you want to tell people about it oh don't don't tell people about it until it's secure secure some of you guys might be getting offered in the gate engagement some of you guys like you know whatever they're doing for you um, you know, keep it on the low. I'm hearing that song, keep it on the low. Wait, that song is about cheating, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but move, yeah. Some of this, you know, don't don't scream this from the mountaintops. Like, and then somebody's noticing that you are moving in silence, you know, be vague in what you're doing. Spirit, or I'm going to say divine. Divine, please tell me more. Divine, please tell me more. Say it when you say that. that. We got photo proof, getting evidence. Photo proof and getting evidence. I feel like this is both for good or bad. You might have, if you make videos or somewhere online, you might have somebody trying to screenshot the videos. They're trying to make you look bad. They, they might be looking for like a bad angle to screenshot you at and then post those videos. This person's only giving you free promo. Um, what is that? This is also the energy of people who act, who like you. They, some of you guys unfortunately deal with people who take pictures of you in public and might use that for, uh, for inspiration later. Or, you know, this for a lot of people just love looking at your face and your beauty. You also have people who are using your, your photos to, I don't know, yeah, to try to de decorate themselves like you. Some people are trying to figure out your makeup techniques. Somebody is trying to figure out, you know, your aesthetic and how to emulate it. Somebody's also getting frustrated because they can't emulate your aesthetic. Some of you guys might got naturally like thicker eyebrows. This person could have tried to pencil on the eyebrows, then it melted, it didn't look good or like, you know, something like that it doesn't you know not everything looks good on everybody i always say i can't do like a full face with foundation because my skin is naturally oily so the metallic eyeshadow kind of like blends in makes me look like <laughs> like it matches my skin and then some of you guys who got less oily skin those powder uh, eyeshadows be looking good. It's like all about your overtones, your undertones, like, you know, and whatnot. You got to find what's right for you. 
This person doesn't know how to find what's right for them. They want to emulate what you do because it's a try, it attracts a lot of people to you. And, you know, and even down to your, your, huh, your sensuality or your lack thereof. Because I'm saying some of you guys can be very sensual. Other you guys are very naturally androgynous. I'm even seeing studs in this pile. Some of you guys might got like some stud tripping over you or like, but I don't know. Like, you know, and for those who don't know what a stud is, that's like a, a mass, a masculine presenting female, usually with a lesbian. Yeah, a lesbian. Some people say studs can only be black, but we'll say butch for like stud, butch, whatever. You know, <laughs> the alphabet community. <laughs> Shout out to them. Shout out to us, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so spirit please tell me more spirit please tell me more what else is going on oh i'm like i said divine let me stop calling on them spirits yeah <laughs> divine please guide see every time i call and this is what the, the divine is letting me know Use your words consciously, because every time I call on the divine, what happens? A card flip. Once I start saying that other word, I start feeling the spirits of the other people like involved in this situation, and it's like a a weird vortex like surrounding. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna scare myself. We got yeah, karmic friends. Karmic friends can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I feel like some of you guys had some karmic friends who they did a lot. I feel this energy. That's the energy. It's like giving me chills. Because I'm, I'm going to apologize to a lot of you guys right now. Some of you guys went through straight up bullying for no other reason than you're beautiful and you attract a lot of people to you, you know? And I'm sorry you had to go through that and had friends turn on you all because of the amount of attention you might get from the opposite or the same gender here. But a lot of people are starting to realize that these just were liars, that they did ish, made shit up, said anything for clout. Divine, please, please tell me more about the collective's love life. Divine, please tell me more about the collective's love life. And it's also saying keep your partner away from these friends. If you know you don't got a good friend, don't tell your friend about this uh, relationship. This per a person might want to sabotage you and your love. They, they might have an eye for any guy that you got an eye for. We got cyber bully, cyber bully. Mm -hmm. Somebody, you are being bullied online, online, or they are has suffered, or they are has suffered from it, etc. So maybe somebody could be getting bullied online, or this could be somebody who's I don't know they want to bully you online what you do what you say what you post somebody could have said that you were cyber bullying somebody online because you might have got upset at the real life bullying and you decided to address it online but I, what did I say I told you some of you guys had straight up bullies and then the cyber bully popped out somebody also might be trying to take screenshots of like your pictures your videos they might be trying to send it to some sort of group chat, laugh about it and whatnot. It's like the only thing this group has in common is you and hating on you. It's, it's weird energy here, but you've got a few people obsessed. Divine, please tell me more. What else does the collective need to know? Divine, please tell me more. What else does the collective need to know? Oh, this card is flipped over. It says time, wasting time, stuck, no changes, 
limited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If somebody feels like they're stuck right now that you or somebody is stuck wasting time on you. This person doesn't have any changes. This person is also limited. A lot of you guys are very, like I said, you're very niche. <laughs> you're very creative. You're very you within your own regards. I'm seeing like, I see just like a a bunch of like aesthetic type of people here. Like you guys look like you're from some sort of indie movie. Some of you guys, like, I don't know, you got may even have shells like in your hair, like your braids, your locks, or um, however you wear your hair. It's like, you know, and then some of you guys, it's your simplicity, as I said before, I'm saying, and even if you dress normally, with that type of earth angel star seed you guys know since i got my martian back i've been rolling to the star seeds re um re-looking into them lately i should post the little app i've been reading up about them on because these are it's like very specific like you know like i'm like to a t they are naming like each star see i was like i got chill i think it's called enhanced dot app and you can read about them. If it lets me link it, I'll link it in the comment section if you're interested in learning about those. Spirit, tell me more. I mean, divine, tell me more, please, about the collective's love life. Divine, tell me more, please, about the collective love life. Divine, tell me more about the collective love life. Somebody also is about to make a move towards you because they don't want to waste time they feel like they're wasting time travel somebody wants to travel with you somebody might want to try or if you're planning on traveling this person might be thinking about seeing you showing up to where you're at showing up with flowers like this person wants to enjoy time with you away from everybody else it's like this person you could have joked about running away with this person this person could have said, yeah, but now they're thinking about it seriously. They're thinking about, you know, I'm put this under the move and silence car. Or some of you guys are going to be meeting a lover on your travels. You're going to be meeting. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are. You're going to be meeting like a lover in a foreign place. Specifically, if you're planning on going to like a foreign place. But some of you got, yeah, I could feel that too. Some of you guys are going to feel so in love. It's going to be in your throat. It's like you're going to be shaking. This person is going to feel like love. Divine, please. See, I love it. As soon as my, my, my PMS week is over, my brain is clear. Divine, please tell me more. The, oop. Did I take all these cards? See, see. Oh, it's only two cards. And we got running, running. Some of you guys, I feel like literally are going running and you're looking good. You're exercising <laughs> and getting evidence. You know, somebody might be, I don't know. And then coming out under karmic friends is looking you up researching you studying you getting info i feel like again that's not just your karmic friends as i said before this lover is trying to study you figure out what you like what you don't like this person they feel very much hmm this person thinks about you a lot and somebody's real angry that they think about you a lot some of you guys this is like a third it could have been like a third party situation i don't necessarily you know i try not to support those but humans are humans they get caught up in all types of itch i try not to judge people and just read the energy that is there you know because I can't say, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not your mother. <laughs> like, I'm not your father. I'm not God. I'm a channel. <laughs> like, or I offer myself to be a channel for the divine. So divine, please channel through me. What else is going on in the collective love life? What else is going on in the collective love life?
Queen Rising, stepping into power, praised, coming up, spotlight, and that's coming out under cyberbullied. Yes, somebody wishes you were getting cyberbullied because they think that would end your confidence. Like they're like they're they're hating the fact that people might be supporting what you're doing online. Some of you guys might be making TikToks. Some of you guys might. I don't know. This person wished bullying on you. Or maybe some of you guys did go through that and you just don't care for the, you know, you don't care. This person feels like if they went through what you went through, they wouldn't be able to take it. So this person is afraid to put themselves out there. And, you know, you're, you're, it's going to come no matter what you do. Because like, <laughs> like, like I said, a spiritualist, we get cyber bullied like every day repent repent you are a witch put those tarot cards down <laughs> and no matter what you do you know no matter what you do it's like people are going to talk that ish and you guys are like whatever Divine, please tell me more. What else does the collective need to know about their love life? What's going on in the collective's love life right now? We got rejected. Somebody could have been wishing that you would get rejected. Or some, and this is coming out under wasting time, stuck, no changes, limited. Somebody... Oh, goodness. They feel like they wasted time and money on these rejection spells that did not work. They're seeing no changes in the spell work that they sent towards you. People are still wanting you. This person is sitting here, pout. Uh, they're sitting there like pouting. They're mad. They're pouting. They're mad. They can't... Um get you guys to do what you know can't get the universe to reject you they can't get this person to reject you it's like you know a lot of people still want you and whatnot that or somebody could regret rejecting you they feel like they wasted time yes yeah, some of you guys got might have got somebody that tried to reject you or they rejected you and um Maybe they rejected you to get you to chase them. They could have said that they had another counterpart, but they were like lying about having another counterpart because they thought that it would make you more interested. They wanted to ignite your competition anxiety. This is could have no. They could have noticed that people could get competitive when there's another person involved, and they, this person realized that they wasted time rejecting you. This person uh, also wants to come back in this person that rejected you. That's heavy. That's what it is. They want to come back in, but they feel like the time is up. This person could have, they didn't, maybe they didn't directly reject you, but they ghosted you. They didn't give you an answer. They could have played games with you. They feel like the time is up. This person sees you. This is definitely not for all of you, but some of you guys, this person sees you when you go on your your runs, your walks, you exercising. People might be talking about you exercising and that you're looking good. For some of you guys, this person might live in the area around you or work in the area around you. They feel like they're wasting time. This person could have even blocked and deleted your number so they don't know how to approach you. This person feels like you wouldn't even look at them. That or if they do come back around, they know you're going to reject them. Take it how it resonates. I'm going to pull some of the soulmate cards and then we'll probably close out the reading. This is my Confessions of the Soulmate deck. We're going to pull some cards from there. Divine, please uh, give me clear and concise messages. What does the collective need to know about their love life? Divine, please give me clear and concise messages. This card gave me a chill. We got, yeah, afraid here. Oh, I thought something shut off. I'm like, what is that? Afraid. I'm afraid to let you down once you get to know me. 
I don't want to disappoint you. I told you that. So I am avoiding you. I have to overcome this and myself, as you see, before coming forward ready. Yes, so this is moving silence and travel here. I told you, you got somebody a little shooken up. They, whoo, they feel shooken up by you because they're feeling something deep towards you. Like this person definitely has deep feelings towards you to the point where some of them, they think about you and they, they cry. They shed like tears of joy, happiness, you know, understand how they met someone like you. This is like a full, like some of you guys, like I can see this person already confessing at the altar to you, not to even lead you that take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Cause you know, that's not going to be for everybody, but somebody here has somebody that wants to confess their love towards them. They want to make you theirs forever. They is like, you know, and like for some of you guys, like I said, this is, you know, take it how it resonates. Spirit, tell me more. Spirit, tell me more. What else does the collective need to hear right now? Tell me more. Divine, tell me more. <laughs> Every time I call the divine, the spirits get back. Yeah. Divine, tell me more. Divine, tell me more. What else does the collective need to hear right now? Divine, tell me more. What else does the collective need to hear right now? protected oh protected yeah you guys got a team too that's willing to stand up for you even when you're wrong this but these people know who you are protected i will always protect you my love even when we are together or not at this time my higher self is always with you. I will always protect you and the love we share. I will keep boundaries around my heart that the only that only you can cross that. Some of you guys might have a past over lover that is helping you attract in this new love also from the other side that no matter what, this could be a past over loved one. Um, a, a passed over lover, like, you know, lover, like, or this could be like a loved one within your family and that they're definitely protecting you from the other side, helping you to make the right decisions, you know, when it comes to your life. Some of these people were appointed as like your spirit guides. Also, this is a current lover that's still alive and you guys are having definitely a telepathic connection. They love, they think about you a lot. They feel comfortable when they think about you. They like living in their head, thinking about you, you know. You, I feel like it's fully mutual. You probably think about this person a lot too, especially when you're sad, especially when you're, you know, and then they boost you up. You feel good when you think about this person. And this card here says, follow your bliss. Follow your bliss. Um, I feel good when I know you are happy. Do something that you enjoy today. Feelings of joy and hope will bring us closer on our journey and will put us at, put you at ease. It'll bring us closer on our journey and it will put you at ease. So do things that make you guys happy, whatever that is, make you happy. Do it. Spirit, tell me more. Divine, I had to keep correcting myself. Divine, tell me more. What else does the collective need to know about their love life? Divine, tell me more. What else does the collective need to know about their love life? Divine, please tell me more. What else does the collective need to know about their love life? Told you, daydream. We got daydream there. Daydream, daydream, daydream. I can't get you off my mind all day, every day. I always wonder what you are doing and how you are feeling about me. Meet me in your dreams tonight so we can start making our future together in reality. 
reality. <laughs> reality i want to build a strong solid foundation for us yes yeah, somebody wants to build a strong solid foundation oh this is gonna have people hate it oh it's gonna oh. <laughs> divine please tell me more what else does the collective need to know about their love life divine Divine, 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 please tell me more. We got Spark right here. I love when I pull new cards from decks that I've been using for a while. I'm like, oh, some people be pulling them same cards. I'm like, give me some new cards. Okay, we got Spark. We have the spark between us, which is undeniable. I told you it's mutual, it's undeniable, invisible to everyone around us. People could tell <laughs> that you, people could tell that you got this spark within you, even if they don't see you guys together. People are talking about like you got a, a beat in your step, you got a smile like you know people are like why are you over there looking at yourself like the girl why are you so happy you know people could feel your happiness but you're keeping it quiet because you're you're you know you're in love or you know home maybe about to be you are the miracle that dropped into my life and lit me from within look up Look up at the stars tonight and know that I am under the same sky thinking about you. We are destined to be together for many lifetimes. We don't need to rush this love. Our love is eternal. So yes, you guys don't need to rush this love. Your love is very eternal, you know? So take your time with this. This person definitely, I feel like, and it's no no negative energy between you guys like if this person didn't like it's no oh this person didn't text me back you know that you could text them and they will answer they know that you could te they could text you and you will answer they know like you guys know like it's not games there you guys know you both are excited to speak to each other you guys you know it's like hmm Whereas before, like, you know, that connection anxiety could have been there within a lot of your relationships, especially as far as digital communication. I feel like that um, connection anxiety really isn't there, you know, in this connection. I'm going to have to figure out a different way to end these love readings. So I don't be feeling like pulling angel numbers. Maybe I'll get some astral dice or something to end the love reading or I don't know. I'm gonna figure out something creative or, you know, intuitive to do and these love readings with. But either way, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day, night, evening, whenever you're catching this message. If you want to book a personal reading with me, that would be in the description box. And I will see you next time.